Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm a ranger at White Sands National Monument, home to the world's largest gypsum dune field. There are 275 square miles of these gorgeous white dunes, and the unique gypsum sand that creates this area has also created a very exceptional and oftentimes harsh environment for many of our plants and animals to survive in. Some of the features that have come about in this unique ecosystem are the pedestals created by plants. These systems are not only illustrative of the plant species' fierce will to live and clever survival tactics, but they also create a safe home for many of our animals that call White Sands National Monument their home. So what exactly is a plant pedestal? It's a system of plant survival where the plant will form a firm cast around its base using the gypsum sand. These plant pedestals are fairly unique to White Sands because of the way gypsum sand reacts with water. While the mineral gypsum is very common, gypsum sand is not. So how do these plant pedestals form? Like all plants, the plants at White Sands National Monument need water to survive. The plant will send its roots deep down into the sand to reach the water table below, which is only about two and a half to three feet below the surface. As the water moves into the roots, a little bit of it gets dispersed into the sand around it. As gypsum sand gets wet and then dries, it hardens like plaster of Paris. This forms a firm cast around the base of the plant. Plants with intricate root systems, meaning they have a lot of roots stemming out from the plant, like our skunk bush sumac here, will create better pedestals. This is because those roots are able to reach a lot more of the surface of the sand below the plant. Pedestals are very important to the ecosystem of white sands because they are an integral part of survival out here. The pedestals help the plant survive by keeping it steady and not allowing it to be buried by the moving sand dunes. These pedestals also help many of our animals out here. A lot of our burrowing animals, like our kit fox, kangaroo rat, and bleached Apache pocket mouse, love to burrow inside of these pedestals because in the summertime, it can be up to 30 degrees cooler inside, and in the wintertime, it can be up to 30 degrees warmer. To these animals of White Sands National Monument, these pedestals are not only a safe haven, but they're a place for family. As you can imagine, pedestal building is a crucial part of the ecosystem at White Sands National Monument. They not only keep the plants alive, but our animals too. So next time you visit White Sands National Monument, keep an eye out for these impressive plant pedestals and the families that call them home.